Hello all. As you can see here, I have uh, Windows 10 in a virtual box and uh, the latest uh, post-release build, uh, 1053. And I'm just going to talk about uh, installing Arch Linux alongside uh, uh, Windows 10 if you're uh, for those interested and uh, how easily it can be done, especially with the legacy BIOS. And disclaimer: I do not have a UEFI BIOS on my on my computer, and uh, VirtualBox uh, doesn't have that kind of facility or firmware. So, um, just right-click on the win, win, Windows key here, the Windows button, sorry, or the logo, and go to uh, Disk Management, and just give that a second to fire up. And you see here, uh, I just left it as default when I installed this. So there's system reserved 500 megs and there's the C windows. That's all you have. So just right click on that and shrink partition. Arch, we can get away with as low as eight gigs. So approximately 10, so just 10 and then one, two, three and 10 gigs and select shrink and give it uh, its time and yep. Uh, usually uh, that's what you get 9.77 gigs or 9.8 and you can close that um, I'm going to use uh, the evolution installer so uh, right click in VirtualBox here and choose a disk image and we'll go to data wherever you have an image and this is the ISO which you can get from SourceForge I'll put a link in the de description and just open and um, go away <laughs> and uh, you should be set now uh, I'm not sure about the evolution installation as far as uh, putting on other media if you're not sure and if you have one burn it onto a disk a CD-ROM it's the, your safest bet it might be a little slower to boot but uh, that's your safest bet I'm not sure about USB under Windows because uh, Arch is, is uh, you know, a rolling release, so it may or may not work. Some USB tools that might have worked last month might not work this month. So with that said, uh, whatever you're using, uh, put that in your disk drive and uh, just uh, restart Windows. And you should be uh, presented with the, uh, hopefully the way your BIOS is set up, you can, you know how to do that. Um, presented with the Arch Linux uh screen and Arch Linux Evolution screen so in this case 64-bit uh, uh, architecture so I just first option just press enter and give it uh, some time to kick in all right so here we are on, on the uh, Evolution AIS Arch Linux installer uh, live ISO and it gives you some nice information here in your connection it's uh, in virtual boxes connected uh, so there's instructions uh, to start the installer so right here is solution AIS installer with alt I so just press alt I and it'll do a check make sure you're connected and so on and it's basically just following the prompts on what what you want to install so first option here stable and uh, choose your language and internet's checked and all things passed and synchronizing the mirror list to Arch Linux uh, Pac-Man is the package manager of the installer for Arch Linux so just give that a bit of time to sync okay uh, so we'll just press enter here uh, prepare the installation uh, set your keyboard layout to your country you can press like a, if you're US, press U on your keyboard and press OK. Uh, configure mirror list, uh, generate by country, and choose your country. And give it a second, and then uh, if it looks OK or close enough um, to your country, obviously, uh, you just close. And do you want to use this? Yes, and uh, mirror list has been backed up as well. Uh, list devices that's showing you your um, what's on here and SDA1 and SDA2 um, they're both Windows NTFS the system reserved and Windows itself 
So you exit out of there and then partition disk, device SDA, it's the only hard drive. Um, Gparted is great. So we'll bring up Gparted and uh, it says unallocated right here. So you hit new extension for leave everything as is and click add and then click apply and answer and apply again and it's done probably take a lot longer on a <coughs> much larger hard drive though so when you're finished with that you just uh, exit and local volume management no um, well if you want to set that up but for this and purpose of this we'll just uh, skip that so mount partitions uh, we don't want SDA1 or SDA2 we want the third one that's been created okay uh, so SDA3 and it's extension 4 and mount successful and I don't have a swap all I didn't set one up you can if you wish inside G parted but I'll just leave this as simple as I can and we're done I'm just gonna leave the Windows partitions out of the equation back install the base I refresh the Pac-Man keys I always suggest doing that and install base and get option 2 latest kernel and base dev al because that includes a lot of uh, programming tools you need to use the Arch Linux user repository which you probably will at some point want to use you can get the long-term support kernel and the base dev al but I'm fine with the latest that's up to you though so option 2 again synchronize the the, the uh, database and then it will install uh, basically install Linux Arch Linux for you so I'll be back when that's uh, finished. All right. So once it's uh, finished installing, it takes you back to the uh, dialog menu here, and option three or selection three, install bootloader. So which one? Um, Grub two. And again, this is a legacy BIOS setting. It will it, it'll download uh, Grub two and uh, another program, OS Prober, as you can see, which will. Uh, scan for other OS's such as Windows and you want to install on, on this device STA that's the only option we have because that's we have one hard drive so the answer is yes <laughs> please wait okay uh, if you're using wireless you might want to look at this um, my system wireless is fine um, but it's no harm in installing it just in case so but in this case I don't need to so we'll go back configure the base uh, generate the file system table and I like to use the first option it's just very simple for me set yourself a host name you can put anything uh, VBox or VirtualBox set the time zone and you just again choose a city typing in the first letter and ask you if that's what you want. Set the hard clock, the hardware clock. Um, use, leave it at UTC. And set the uh, system locale. Yes. And again, same thing. Uh, I'm gonna go back. We don't need to set the virtual console. Configure user accounts, obviously. <laughs> uh, so your root password, and that uh, sets things up for you. Go back. Install desktops. And option one, obviously, graphics drivers, input sound drivers, etc. Uh, so I'll install also Zorg server and XF86 input devices, keyboard and mouse, and so on. So just let that download and install for you. Okay, so uh, it's asking you, is this a uh, your graphics driver? Obviously, it's VirtualBox. <laughs> if no, then uh, select whatever, like NVIDIA. Um, a side note here on my system my main uh, motherboard CPU is AMD but my graphics card is Nvidia and it, it get tries to guess and it guesses AMD so I have to select no and select Nvidia but uh, if you're using a laptop or, or a pre-built system that's probably not going to be a problem but if, uh, if you built your own um, just be aware of that okay so anyway VirtualBox is yes and this is what it tells you what it's going to do and just uh, let that again download and install and configure it for you 
Now I have to ins decide on, to install a desktop environment. There's uh, many. So uh, they give you examples of uh, GNOME, KDE, LXDE, Display Manager, Cinnamon, uh, Network Manager. It comes with a Network Manager. So you have Cinnamon, Enlightenment, GNOME Shell Minimal, GNOME, GNOME Plus all the stuff. Uh, let's try a, I don't know, if, you're con if you want something similar to Windows-ish, look XFCE or Mate or Mate. Uh, let's choose option 10, Mate plus Extra, something a little different. All right, um, I strongly suggest getting these things, uh, Xterm, XDG, User DIRs, and all this kind of stuff. It'll help you greatly. And so those will download and install. Option uh, three, install a network connection manager. Um, I like this one, the network manager GUI. So press OK. So connection manager, uh, it's been enabled. To, uh, install a login manager. Uh, you have LXDM, LightDM, SDD, or Slim. Uh, let's try LightDM. It's a little, even though it's called LightDM, it's a little heavier than LXDM or and especially Slim, but a little fancier. So LightDM has been enabled. And go back. Uh, accessibility packages, so you can look at those if you wish. Uh, and then run option 7, MK in it, uh, to, for the fallback images and stuff for Arch Linux. And you can review. I'm not sure if these will uh, save. There is no V console. It's locale. It's fine. Uh, hosts and host names, sudoers. Uh, I'd like to modify this, but I'm not sure if it will uh, uh, take. It might. I'll try. Sorry. Um, where it has wheel equal, um, equals all all. Uh, I put a comment there so it doesn't use that and take out the password. So when you run pacman as sudo, it doesn't ask for a pack, uh, password. So you save, control S, and then control Q to quit. Uh, Everything else should be fine. So, light DM, yeah, just leave that as it is. And go back. And we're done. And close the installer, yes. And Alt X is to restart shutdown. So, I'll just restart, um, even though the disk or uh, ISO image is still there. You just, uh, when you get to the boot screen, just uh, select the second option boot existing OS. And now you can see we have Arch Linux and Windows and Arch Linux Advanced Options. So let's go into Arch Linux and see, take a look at our Mate Mate desktop. And there you go, you have Arch Linux installed with uh, facilities to get uh, get you started. I don't want to go through all these applications, but you, you have an archive manager and uh, a picture viewer and no internet uh, browser. Uh, that's up to you. So. For example, if you open the, uh, where is it, system tools, uh, the Mate terminal, you just do a sudo pacman dash capital S, choose a browser or several, you can type Chromium or and Firefox, and are we connected? Oh, auto Ethernet, make sure we're connected. There we go, now we're connected, I'm so sorry. So, so you can install two browsers, flash plugin, and you can go on from there. All right, the browsers have been installed. You can right click on this uh, uh, icon and uh, eject, and he's gone. There's your home folder. It tells you how much free space you have. And there's Windows, and it installed a program called NTFS 3G, so you can take a look at your Windows partition, which is here, and you just right click and on mount we don't need that anymore and there's your computer and it should look fairly uh, comprehensive or familiar enough for a, a Windows user and we'll see if uh, Windows is still kicking so just arrow key down to where it says Windows don't worry that it says recover environment that's just the uh, OS prober uh, guessing basically all right, so here we are. We're back in Windows 10 and dual booting with Arch Linux. Uh, if you want to, for some reason, remove Arch Linux, just go back to your disk management, right-click on the partition you created, 
select delete volume, confirm yes, and give that a second. And then just uh, right click on your C Windows partition, extend volume, next. That's as high as it'll go. Next and finish. And what you have to do is insert uh, your Windows 10 disk. And go away, please. And just <laughs> shut down and restart. And uh, when it gets to the screen, just uh, hit enter to boot from the uh, DVD CD right here. And just give that a second to load. When you get to this screen, just simply uh, hold down the shift key and press F10 on your keyboard. And just type in boot. This is legacy BIOS again. I can't stre stress, that enough. stress that enough. It's not the modern boot system so you said type in boot rec boot record slash fix mbr press enter operation completed and just to make sure fix boot press enter and exit out of here and just uh restart your computer so there you have it, uh, dual boot, uh, Arts Linux and Windows 10, Legacy BIOS, um, and that should uh, basically be it. It's a uh, the Evolution installer. I can't thank those guys enough, and especially Carl uh, for the great work he's done in coding uh, so many things to make it so much easier to install Arch Linux. So that should do it for this one, and thanks so much for watching. And we'll talk to you soon, and bye for now.